Hey, what is up guys? This is Jamie from Model Kit Central and today I'm going to be doing another Gundam model unboxing video. And as you can see, I have the 1 to 1 44 scale real grade Justice Gundam from the Gundam Seed series. What better way to do another Gundam unboxing video than to do the partner of the Freedom Gundam, which I did an unboxing of in my previous video. And I've got to say, this kit looks pretty damn good. Um, I was a very big fan of the Justice Gundam as a kid because I watched Seed as a kid and I grew up watching it, so yeah, sue me. I just like Seed, leave me alone for them Seed haters out there. But anywho, yeah, as you can see, it is the Justice Gundam and I really love how this kit looks. Even though it's pink, I like it. The pink really looks nice. So, without any more of me fangirling over the Justice Gundam, let's get on with the actual unboxing. So let's take a look around the box before we get into the contents of the kit itself. So, as you can see for the front cover, we have the very iconic, um, you know, real grey design uh, for the box. So you get the massive head of the Justice Gundam, which is pretty standard. Then you have the um, CGI um, image of the... Um, Justice Gundam here. Uh, then we have Bandai, Real Grade, Excitement Embodied, uh, Justice Gundam, Zaft Mobile Suit ZGMF-X09A. Um, then you obviously have the seal, which I don't think is very visible here either, but you can kind of see it. So I guess you guys uh, have some form of an idea of um, the fact that it's there and it's of course just to put like you know to authenticate the fact that it's a part of the Gundam C model kit line I believe and then of course you have uh, Bandai 2012 made in Japan so yeah looking very nice I like the look of the justice very nice looking very cool and uh, looking on the sides of the box pretty much the same as the freedom you get the head design for the side of the box pretty much the same as the front then you get the um advanced ms joint frame which uh, makes this real great possible then you have the backpack unit which they show you that you can actually extend it outwards and you can um, collapse it inwards so you can make it smaller uh, then you got the um, advanced ms joints cut out from the tree um, oh, apologies, I have kind of a stuffed nose, so if you heard that, um, I apologize. Uh, and then in this uh, image here, we have the Justice Gundam standing on its backpack, which it was pretty iconic for, honestly. In all of the games, he could actually do that as well, which was really cool. And uh, it's just really cool that he can ride on his own backpack. Um, pretty surprised he hadn't been shot off it yet to be honest it's actually quite funny uh, and it also shows here that you can actually fold out the um, pieces to mount the feet on and you get some marking stickers very uh, iconic to the real grades and then you get this uh, image of the completed model without any paint but just with um, decals and stickers applied so yeah looking very cool on this side here, you have the www.bandai-hobby.net website, which you guys can go visit if you really must. It's the ninth model in the line, the Justice Gundam, and then it is a part of the real grade Excitement Embodied line. And then you got the, um, I believe this is the uh, serial number for the model, Bandai. And then you got some action poses here, so you got a pose of him shooting someone, or well, trying to shoot someone anyway, um, holding its two beam sabers, um, firing its cannons I guess on its shoulders, and then some features of the actual model itself that this kit actually has, which is pretty cool. So of course he's got the opening cockpit feature, very nice looking head, uh, the piece for the side skirt can lift up so you can put the beam saber into it. The boomerang comes out, which is actually a really good thing because all the other versions of the uh, Justice Gundam don't have that feature. This is the only known version of the uh, Justice that actually has that feature implemented into it. Then you've got the um, shifting panels on the arms, on the, um, the knees, uh, moving thrusters on the backpack, and then you have some manipulators. A QR code for anyone who has a smartphone 
ones. If you guys want to scan that, go for it. Then you got some copyrights and warning hazards and such. Um, and then you got the price, which is 2,500 yen. So, yeah, pretty standard stuff for the real great box. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have mostly seen these already. So, it's nothing new that you haven't seen before. So, yeah, so let's actually crack the box open and take a look at the content inside. Oh, wait, there is stuff on the side. So, let's take a look at the side first before we actually look at the contents. So, as you can see, we have the SD Justice Gundam, which I believe was very dreadful. Let's pretend that didn't exist. Same with the high grade justice. The high grade justice was pretty bad. Better not look into that. The master grade infinite justice. Do not know why this is on the side of the box considering this is not the 1 to 100 master grade justice Gundam. This is the infinite justice. The uh, successor of the justice Gundam. So I don't know why they've got this on the side. Because it's completely not relevant. I guess because it's still a justice Gundam. So they thought hey we'll put it on the side. Um, the Gumpla made in Japan. Uh, part of the box uh, www.bandai-hobby.net I don't actually think it has the www on it but you know take my word for it it's there uh, www.gundam.info so if you guys want to visit those sites too it's right there so go ahead visit it I don't care then you have the real grade Justice and the real grade freedom um, doing that pose that it did on the um, on the shuttle uh, when it was launching an episode 40 was it? I can't remember. I think it was episode 40 when he did that. Um, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I watched Seed. I'll have to rewatch that. But looking pretty cool. I, I like the fact you can actually do that. And then on this side you have the perfect grades, which for some reason you have the strike and the sky Crasper with the L striker pack. So I don't know what relevance that has with the Justice Gunner, but whatever. Bandai can do what they want, it's their product. Um, but anyways, for the first bag, we have the A and B tree. The A tree being the colourful tree in the back. The B tree being the advanced MS joints tree. Which is basically, I believe, the same as the Freedom Gundams. Um, so, pretty much this is the intricate frame that makes the real grade possible. Like I say in all of my real grade um, unboxing videos. Uh, looking very intricate there. Really complex in design. Would hate to be the guy to uh, have to build this, but hey, I'm not, so it's good. Then you got parts here, the yellow parts here for the uh, wings, I believe here. More parts for the wings, the shield, the V fin. Um, a lot of dark pink parts for the armor pieces. And then you got some darker blue bits here, which are for the chest and the backpack and all the other bits of details, which are all in dark blue. Uh, and the um, the. Shin guards, that's it. So yeah, looking pretty good so far. And then some more uh, pink parts here, which I believe is the same pink as this. So yeah, looking pretty good. Next tree, or next bag, you have two trees in here with a marking sheet, uh, some marking decals, uh, or marking stickers rather, a sheet of marking stickers which is a lot again, but I probably won't use these, but hey, who knows. And then you got the beam uh, effect part tree in the back here with the two beam boomerang um, trees, um, boom, beam boomerang effect parts. And then you got the beam saber effect parts here, which are fit for one 100 scales, but they decide to give them to you with this. Uh, and then you got the uh, gray parts here for the majority of the internal pieces for the backpack and for the joints of the actual uh, MS, the advanced MS joints. So yeah. Well, oh. trees are falling. Dear God, that is not good. Then we have the next bag, which has three trees again and has the, um, we have, wait, this is the first bag with three trees, never mind. Um, you have the white tree, which has the um, major parts for the cannon, the beam uh, sabers, the uh, wing parts, the sides of the legs, the winglets, and all that good stuff. The middle is just more uh, frame bits, so more um, internal frame sections. And on this side here, you've got the pink parts, which are basically for the armor, so for the shoulders, sides of the legs. Um, side skirts, if I haven't already mentioned those, and whatnot.
Then you've got the um, bag with two uh, trees again. Uh, with um, more wing parts here, the shield, uh, more white sections for the details, uh, parts for the um, beam rifle. On this side you have the uh, parts, more armor pieces here. So for the um, external armor pieces. Looking pretty good. And then you got the last tree, which is the, uh, well, two, la two last trees in the last bag, which is mainly for the backpack unit. So yeah, you can see there, there's a lot of it, a lot of pink. And then you got the gray bits for mostly the manipulators and the backpack construction, which again, there's a lot of. Ooh, what the heck is this? Oh, I believe this is the stand for the actual backpack, I believe. I'll have to look in the manual for that. And that is pretty much it for the parts. Inside we have the manual. So let's just uh, try to drag this out of here. Right. So as you can see, pretty much the same design as the uh, front of the box. And if you guys have already built Gunpla before, you'll pretty much be aware of what you're going to come across. Same as what you'll get in pretty much every real grade um, manual checklist of uh, all the trees that you'll be receiving in this. And then just, you know, step by step, building up from the feet all the way up to the head. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. Some color, uh, color splash pages going over the weapons and stuff. So yeah, pretty simple. And on the back, just an instru uh, instruction manual how to put the decals on and where they've got to go. And that's pretty much it, guys. So um, expect more unboxings uh, to come around. Um, make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe because there will obviously be more videos. So anywho, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And... I'll see you guys in the next video. So this is Jamie from Model Kit Central, signing out.